Well, I'm here at the beginning of the Sentinel Dome Trail. This is a very short trail which leads you up to the uh, top of Sentinel Dome, which according to the literature has some of the best views in all of Yosemite Valley, or the best views of Yosemite Valley. So this should be a nice short hike. Get up there, it's starting to rain, so uh, that's not going to be good. Uh, but it's a short enough hike so that I can get up there and down within probably a half hour or so. Should be fun. See what it looks like up top. This is what it looks like near the top of Sentinel Dome. As you can see, we have a little cloud cover today. So far, we just have a few sprinkles, nothing to get crazy about. Feeling a little bit lightheaded because of the elevation. It's about, I think this is 8,600 feet, something close to that. this. This is the uh, opposite angle of what you just saw, looking up the hill, going towards the uh, Sentinel Dome Peak, if you want to call it a peak. It's more like a rounded surface. And this is the very top of Sentinel Dome. I just love that, that lone tree in the background. It just says everything about this place. but at the same time, very, very, very beautiful. Definitely worth the climb, if you want to call this a climb. Here we are again on top of the Sentinel Dome. I found this nice little rock here with nobody, no people. It's just me and nature. Look at that background. Is that something? Or am I completely out of my mind? I'm not much of a religious man, but this is definitely God's country, if you allow for that. Well, this is about as close as I'm going to get to Half Dome today, or maybe in my lifetime. But uh, that's it. Sort of does look like half a dome, doesn't it? Anyway, it's very pretty. I hope you like it. Now I'm going to look at it and see if I can find some climbers on there. Well, I just got a closer look of Half Dome. There are people up there on the top of it. Uh, they're standing right on the edge, right on the tip, as you can see, uh, right in the middle of the screen at the top. There's about half a dozen people up there standing there looking over the edge. Hey. Well, this here is the trail on the way to Taft Point. Sentinel Dome and Taft Point sit kind of adjacent to one another and they overlook the Yosemite Valley. Great views of El Capitan and uh, Taft Dome. So they're very short trails. Combined I think it's about four and a half miles uh, up and back. So I figured why not? I'll do Taft Point today as well. Here we go. I'm sitting here on a cliff uh, in uh, Taft Point, which is much more beautiful than uh, Sentinel, uh, what do they call it, Sentinel Dome, the last, uh, the last uh, place we visited. Literally three feet behind me, if I were to roll backwards, that'd be a goner. It's about a thousand foot drop. The scenery here is so strikingly beautiful. It's amazing. I'm not actually to the top yet. The top of uh, Taft Point is over that way a little bit. I just wanted to sit here because it's such a scary place to be, right there on the edge, knowing that if a, if a big wind to, were to hit me right now, that would be the end. Now, I don't know about you, I've seen a few crevasses in my life, but that's an awesome Awesome.
cravat. I am here. As they say in the beer commercials, it doesn't get any better than this. on top of the world, baby. That's El Capitan. That is the crown jewel of this park. Well, one of two crown jewels. For climbers, that's, you know, really the holy grail. So, uh, yesterday, I was watching some guy with a telescope checking out a guy up there hanging out at, on the side of the hill. He had bolted a, uh, a hammock to the side of that hill about two-thirds of the way up and uh, it looks like he was going to sleep there for the night. So this is the view of El Capitan from Taft Point right at the top and uh, you know in a word that I've used before maybe I've overused so far in this little uh, series is uh, majestic clearly majestic. Now I'll get out of the frame and just let you look at that for a few seconds.